All right, some more thoughts. It's like looking at this room, like, does that look like a power squat bar rack? Huh, looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I kind of like, I, my, like, I would definitely love to build these kind of like millennial hipster kind of apartment complex things, but the, looks like it just takes too much time. Just chat GPT it. Uh, dolly. Okay, so another pro tip. Uh, so, all right, open AIs. Uh, you all listen to this. Okay, I have a suggestion. Um, phase out Dolly and just merge it with ChatGPT. Because, like, ChatGPT has become a new verb, noun, concept. Like, it's like, it's like calling something, uh, just Google it, just ChatGPT, right? And like, even having a like, like, oh, these images are made by Dolly, Dolly, through, I'm like, such a mouthful. It's like, these images were made by ChatGPT. Easy. Um, now obviously we know this ChatGPT, it don't just have to be chat, like, it just, I mean, like, even if, even if you got rid of Dolly, just merged all those features into ChatGPTs, right? Um, uh, You're still chatting with it to make an image, right? Um, yeah, it would just make uh, things uh, more streamlined. Just, just one thing, right? Like, yeah, just call it ChatGPT. Get rid of Dolly, Dolly three. Just make it all ChatGPT. Actually, it's funny too because uh, also ChatGPT is uh, OpenAI. I recommend changing the logo, Seneca, at two years nine months. He looked at the ChatGPT logo and he thought it was actually a loading sign. He's like, eh, right? So. It needs to be something more colorful. Maybe ChatGPT should be the Dolly logo. He likes the rainbow. He likes all the colors. Uh, and even now, like at two years, nine months, this kid's an effing prodigy. He knows how to use Dolly, Dolly 3 image generation. He's always asking to make uh, purple fire uh, fire trucks. So yeah, I think uh, it looks like Eric Kim is opening up his own uh, monster store, his own, uh, only, uh, his own school. Call it like Eric, we're gonna call it Eric. The, he says like what? educational resources innovation creativity or something like that it's like turn your name into acronym i think that's going to be the concept which uh outlives you even you know like when people really become famous is when like you don't have to pronounce their full name like ain't nobody ever say friedrich nietzsche too much of my mouth well just say nietzsche right everyone knows him even like heraclitus plato socrates uh, i think what they used to do back in the day was saying you know something of somebody like milo of croton uh even seneca is like what seneca the younger seneca the greater older whatever just say seneca we know, we know who he's talking about like anybody who tries to be too pseudo academic thing about things they're just trying to like just trying to like show off that they these they smart and they know what's up but it uh this line of thinking seems uh superficial at best um oh also another reason why I'm all about the GoPro, GoPro Mini. Just shoot it super, super wide. Da, da, da. You literally put people's in your spots. Good morning. Uh, and yeah, the, the world is a fascinating place. Um, even I'm like starting to think more and more like, I call this the hamster mentality or the hamster lifestyle or the whatevs. Is that like a lot of these like apartment, condo, complex things, whatever. They're essentially like little glass hamster cages. Right? And then when we go to work, we go into our hamster car mobile. We spin in the, the treadmill, we go to work. We go on another treadmill hamster hamster thing. Um, there's a great YouTube film. My sister loves it. Dun, 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 It's like called the, it's a bunch of rats who look like a little rat in a Ferrari or something like that. One other pro tip. Transform your body into the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, the whatevs. Better to be super sexy and pop out looking super, super fresh and handsome. Pull out of a white Prius with the scissor doors. <laughs> it's like, yo, if you really want to flex, just put scissor doors. In the... Okay, am I gonna be the first person with a, a Prius with uh, the Lamborghini doors or a Prius plaid or matte black Prius? Like, I have, okay, things I have never seen. 
I have never seen nobody do a matte black Prius yet. It's like, you know, matte black, your Lambo and the, the, the and Tesla. It's like, oh, it's like Prius squad, baby. The real men drive uh, Priuses. Use Priuses, the 2010 models. Uh, even the, 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 the new, new Prius looks cool, but, uh, but like, uh, the critical flaw of the new new Prius, right? My, my design critique, right? So the 2010 Prius model, they created that innovative shifter thing that straight up looks like it's from the future, it's super cool, right? I actually love it. But then the, the, the new new Prius, you already put, you, you backtrack, you made it that clicky, automatic, like just like you're driving a Camry. I'm like, but 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 boring. Like even that's where I'm a bigger fan of Honda. Even, even Hyundai now, they just, Get rid of the shifting knots, just make them into buttons. Uh, much more interesting and sleek. And even uh, what I predict is gonna be the next super gangster car. They're all gonna be Hyundais and Kias, the new Sonata. Uh, I was in Korea, I already saw the new Sonata, the new Grandeur, etc. So gangster, so future, even the new Kias. Yeah, just get a new Hyundai, Sonata, Genesis, Kia, and just, <laughs> just map black that and just debadge it. Um, and actually the, the truth is, from a design perspective, the best way to quote, quote upgrade stuff is actually to get rid of stuff. So like, for example, you have a car, right? The best way to make it look better is just shave off all the emblems, wash your car. <laughs> if there's like rust or bad things on your car or like ugly trim, you could just spray paint it, right? Just get some primer or matte black spray paint or whatever have you, re-spray re paint it, you know, clean your interior, and then like let your body do the talking right like don't be like a dude popping out of a a lambo or a ferrari or whatever and have people check out your car you want people to check you out it's going to be better for your self-esteem uh, another thing i learned too people who own exotics like a lambo or ferrari they own at least five or six uh i mean for a long time i called this the <laughs> Let's call this the, the two Lamborghini rule. One should not buy a Lamborghini unless one could buy a Lamborghini in straight cash, two of them at least. Then don't forget, you gotta pay for oil changes, maintenance, new tires, your tires go out. That's like that's like another 20 Gs in the, the hole. Uh, insurance, registration. And then you gotta go DMV yourself and do it. It's so b -b 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 boring. I fucking, uh, I hate that. Um, so, even thinking about like rapping, like even nowadays I'm like, or Kim Rapper. Uh, rappers are allowed to get away with anything they want, talk away a certain way to do, right? And actually this is another funny thing too, certain peoples are given a free pass and certain peoples are not, right? So typically I've noticed, I mean this is where America's super racist, right? It's like, let's say you're at a McDonald's, you have a bunch of like young African American kids acting super loud, rambunctious, everyone just kind of turns a blind eye, right? But like you have a bunch of like Asian kids doing the same thing, people are gonna be like, yo, y'all yeah, quiet down. Cause like people ain't scared of American, uh, Asian people. Like even I was thinking too, right? I've been like, I've been like, you know, <laughs> I've been kicked out of at least one or two gyms or told off. And I'm like, maybe true, maybe not be trues, but it's like, Cause I'm Asian, Asian American. You think you could bully me? You think you could bully me? It's like, nah, I ain't. Like after this one incident where like, I got told, like, oh, you're gonna break the bar. This gym not for you. At first I kind of got like shocked. Cause I was like, oh, oh, like is this the owner? I don't want to get kicked out again. Right? Cause this is the second gym I was gonna get kicked out of. Right? And later I just realized as a member, I'm like, and then actually whenever things that happen in life to you, super effing annoy you. Uh. The point isn't to be like, to ruminate about it or to be uh, salty about it. It's rather integrate that into your future life. Like, so if somebody done done injustice upon you, change the, your future mindset, the way you act, don't act as it is in the future in order to integrate that into your life. So after that happened, things I'm proud of, right? I was at the gym, like lifting super heavy, right? Uh, some uh, some dude was like trying to be like I was like about to stretch before like 
Atlas lifting like 980, 90 pounds, 909 pounds or something. I'm like super in the zone, right? Oh, yo, check this out. Beautiful morning. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, look at that. Panopticon view, baby. <laughs> you know how you know somebody's a real scholar or not? Bro, if you, if you fucking throw Michelle, Michael Foucault at me, talk about Panopticon, use a, use a pseudo scholars. Yeah, this is LA. Time for Air Kim to conquer LA. Air Kim dot LA. Air Kim is the, the new king of LA. Okay, so certainly the most, I don't know, I ain't done, met nobody who's more masculine than me. But anyways, um, oh yeah, so it's just like, whoa, it's like, whoa, Jackie Chan, you almost got me a quality, woohoo! Like, so whenever like, I'm like stretching and doing something that people are like, oh, you have a strong core or you're so lean or whatever, right? I actually take that as a low key insult, even though it's like a back, I think a backhand a compliment, right? It sounds like a compliment, but it's actually an insult in disguise, right? Um, Cause like what they're saying is, oh, Asian guys traditionally ain't strong, but you can do weird stuff like karate or like black magic or kung fu. Uh, <laughs> like everyone saw me like, well, I guess recently someone saw I was a bodybuilder, right? But people type the things like, what are you, swimmer, gymnast, rock climber? <laughs> but, <laughs> like, I think, uh, I think rock climbing is, uh, is funsies, but, uh, yeah, I think that the guys who tend to do rock climbing, yeah, I don't know, it just seems too, too nerdy, too Silicon Valley for me. I like, uh, off the grid weightlifting, the Urkim uh, Spartan notion is the goal. Um, so, anyways, so this guy, I was at the gym, and this guy's like, Whoa, check it, check it, come on, you almost got me, right? And I'm like, at first, I was like, So, I didn't even notice, right? And then I went to the bathroom to wash my hands, and I, you know, you've been wrong, is that like, if like 10 minutes later or an hour later or a day later you get angry after the fact then you done been wrong so i went up to him so i'm like where's the motherfucker i need to find this guy right i got super angry right i'm like i ain't finna be punked around right gotta gotta stand up for myself stand up for yourself your kids um that's what it means to be a true man so essentially i find him in the gym and then i'm like pretend like i'm about to uh you know kick him or swing my dick at him or something like that and he's like, oh, you do what you're trying to swing your dick at me, so I'm finna bust up my gut. And then I come up close to him, right? And the best way to 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 man somebody is get up close to them and ask them a question really, really quiet. Be like, the question is, dot, dot, dot. Now I'm not thinking about what I say. I'm like, what's your favorite martial arts movie? And so whenever somebody try to punk you, don't be like super anti-social and just kind of like mean mug them from a corner. You just up, go up to them in the face, you approach them, and you actually ask somebody something unexpectedly nice, ask her a compliment, and be like, yo, 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 can you give me some tips on this, right? And then essentially turn the dudes who try to punk you into your friends. It's actually, uh, what, Benjamin Franklin, people have said. It's like, it's put more faith in It's better to put faith and enemies turn into friends than just friends because you don't know if they finna turn into enemies. And then, once again, there's not even a thing such a, as an enemy. It's just kind of like, if you have good animicus, anti-animosity, if you, you're friendly with somebody, not friendly, it doesn't matter. Uh, just You just gotta outlast. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I think I'm in a good position is that my my ambition is greater than my ability. I mean, I think that's a great place to be because <laughs> to quote Kanye, right? It's like, it's like, with my ego, I can stand up here in a Speedo and be looked at like a hero. And it's like, yeah, apex male masculinities or Kim. Um, yeah, we's, we's the new goats, we's the new demigods, we the new studs. 
And actually, it's kind of a good spot to be in because apparently it's sexy to be Korean now. Like, it's uh, apparently a thing. It's like, you're like a hot German Swedish model to have a handsome Korean boyfriend or husband. I guess that's the thing. I'm like, dang it, I was born too late. <laughs> like, growing up, being Korean wasn't cool, it's just being Japanese, right? But last, you know, I'm already married, have my kid. Um, so now it's just like, it's more about vanity, it's more about vanus means empty. But I think there's, there's superficial vanity, like what car you drive, and then there's deep vanity, like who is you, what is your personality? And then apparently in American uh, society, it's considered bad manners to brag because you're gonna, or you're gonna make other people feel bad about themselves. And I'm like, it ain't my fault that you're so insecure about who you is. I promise, I'm so self-conscious. You won't see me out see well, at least one of my watches, okay? Uh, so, can't even pronounce that. Pass that verse, AC. So yeah, I would say uh, allow yourself to become more ratchet, more off the grid. Think, talk like a rapper. Never apologize, especially if you ain't sorry.